I just want to uh, say a small story. There was a tree that was growing up, a tree that was planted and that was growing up. And as it was growing up, there was wind, there was rain. There was a lot of struggle, disturbances that this little tree was facing as it was growing up. And so this little tree looked at its maker and said, maker maker no i'm not able to withstand this wind i'm not able to withstand this wind what do i do what do i do what do i do so the maker said don't worry don't worry just hold on there okay and then this tree tried to stand and then again later off you know some years later again there was wind there was rain there was a lot of disturbances the tree swayed this way and that way and then again it cried out to its maker and said maker maker what do i do i'm going to fall i'm going to fall and now the maker said don't worry don't worry just go deep dig in deep take deep roots and then you will be able to stand strong and then the tree you know did the same thing just what the maker said okay it took deep roots and then it was able to withstand the rain then again a few years went by and again there was wind there was rain there was storm and again it said maker maker i'm not able to stand what do i do and then the maker said don't worry do the same thing what i told you dig in deep stand strong and this happened till the tree grew and became a large tree and there came a time when the tree was really able to withstand the storm and the winds that came against it every disturbance that took place in its life the tree was able to stand strong this is exactly what happens in each and every one of our lives even in the lives of our children as they grow up they will have to face a lot of struggles i came across this interesting a term called as stress wood okay it's called the previous slide stress wood so what exactly happens in a tree as it grows is when it uh, faces the wind and the rain when it has to you know sway this way and that way it develops something called stress wood that helps it to stand strong and firm and grow tall if a tree does not develop something called stress wood it falls in the united states in arizona uh, i think it was about in uh, 1987 to 91 they constructed something called biosphere 2 okay biodome or biosphere 2 wherein it was a a, a closed place uh, where um, there were sea creatures that were grown inside a, a huge area a lot of trees so scientists really wanted to learn uh, you know about earth and uh, there were even people living inside they wouldn't come out for a couple of years they just wanted to actually um, find out uh, what is the practical solution to live in outer space okay this is what the scientists were trying to do so they constructed this stuff but one thing what they identified was the trees or the plants that were planted inside grew really quick the trees became tall really quick but eventually they also fell down very quick they grew very quick they also fell down very quick now this made the scientists think why what's happening you know we we have protected all these from all the external stress factors no wind no rain nothing and we've given them every nutrient everything that is you know needed for a tree and a plant to grow but what happened why did they all fall that's when they found out that there is something called stress wood that never developed in these trees or plants so only when something is being exposed a tree being exposed to a stress to wind or rain it developed something called stress wood and so it was you know the trees that were outside of the biodome actually grew these wood and so they were able to stand strong that was a finding that is exactly what happens even in our lives unless we go through stress unless our children face difficulties and trials you know sometimes as parents we just want to you know protect our children we just want to give them a very safe environment give them you know just like the scientists they provided everything whatever was needed but what was actually essentially needed was not given which they found out later sometimes you know we don't want our children uh, to face any kind of struggle any kind of difficulty we don't want them to take up any kind of stress not even in school not at home not outside 
we just want to bring them up in a bring them up in a very safe environment but what happens eventually when they grow up when they have to go out and face the world they fall they don't withstand the stress of life so it's very important as parents just even as we celebrate these little children to teach them what life is also about what difficulties are what challenges that they need to face as they go through those things it's very essential that we teach them to handle those situations you know for john last one year you know has been quite tough because there's been one guy in his class who's been constantly hitting him every day every day not just chuma you know not just this friendly pat but hard hits every day and this guy never told us for so many months he never told us one day you know he was sharing it with kezia and we got this and he sometimes he used to even get headaches you know that guy would hit him on his head on his back you know very hard every day and so what we did we sat down we spoke with him you know we taught him to pray we taught him to handle the situation on his own we did not go there and fight for him but we taught him to stand up and say this is how you need to talk to the guy this is how you need to go approach your class teacher do this do these practical steps handle it by yourself we did intervene at a later stage but initially we did teach him how to do things how to handle those things you know when there is an issue as parents i don't think it's really essential to immediately jump in to protect our children i went shopping a couple of days back you know and all the women said amen my husband was not there so i sneaked out i went shopping okay so i went to the shop and uh, i was you know i was in the billing counter when a mother and a daughter they just entered the shop and uh, nobody else was there i was the only it's a very small shop and i was the only customer and then i was billing and a mother and a daughter daughter should be around 23 years old a grown up daughter okay and she wanted a particular dress which is not bad a very say a, a regular salwar you know that was what she wanted but the mother did not like it so then the mother was too loud i was feeling so embarrassed she said illa idu unakku venda na venda so she said no if i say then you don't buy it you don't buy it and the mother was ready to walk out of the shop that daughter was like mommy mommy please mommy na solradhu konjam kelunga mommy mommy please no please listen to me the mother was ready to walk out then the daughter said mommy please give me at least my card no i'll buy for myself mother said no giving your card i'll go and give you my card also i'm going home she walked out of the shop i really felt very bad for the girl i was like on my toes just waiting to go and talk to the mother and say ஏன் ஆண்டி அவங்க கேட்கறது நல்ல ட்ரெஸ் தானே கேட்கறாங்க நீங்க வாங்கி தரலாம் அப்படின்னு even if you can provide but if you still feel it is not needed for your child it is always good to say no children really need to grow up to listening to no and not now and later this is not good for you this is not suitable for you just because we can provide something just because it is all affordable does not mean that we need to always satisfy our children that's when they can develop stress wood in their lives let's turn in our bibles to james chapter 1 verse 2 and 4 james chapter 1 verse 2 to 4 so it says count it all joy my brothers when you meet trials of various kinds for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness and let steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete lacking in nothing this verse is not just for adults in the bible it's for 
all age groups and we really need to teach our children the same thing that they need to count it all joy when they meet trials of various kinds so what are the trials that children can face these days you know lack of attention from parents being bullied at school sometimes you know go, going to a new place shifting to a new house or moving to a new school can also affect certain children but we really need to teach them you know what at our house john and joanna are two opposite poles you all must have observed it you know john doesn't talk much he's quite quiet and reserved and you know joanna's all there she's all over the place and uh, this academic year they had shuffled the section for joanna the entire uh, seventh standard uh, you know has been shuffled everybody and for john it's the same class so john was very surprised the second day you know after the school reopened he came up to joanna and he asked joanna you friends la vandu irukangla unakku you know have you made new friends she said yeah what is that question you are asking me <laughs> you know children are two different poles but we need to teach every child how they need to do what they need to do teach them to even make new friends even you know moving to a new place to a new school might be difficult but you teach them to adjust in a new place to make new friends amen so count it all joy when you meet trials of various kinds for you know the testing of your faith produces steadfastness just as you can see that small clipping there testing of your faith produces steadfastness and let steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete lacking in nothing and today my prayer is that these little children will grow up in faith that they will develop stress wood in their life so even when they will have to face trials and tempt- temptations as they grow up that they will not fall down but they will stand strong amen amen